So this example helps us to find out how to find the mean and standard deviation for um, uh, discrete data. So the first thing is that this is based on statistical information of the United States, shows the different sizes of US families. Um, the first question is state the random variable. So remember the random variable is kind of what you're measuring. Um, it is an idea of what you're interested in. So in this case, it seems to be that we're interested in the size of the family. So the random variable in this case would be the size of the family. Now we'd like to compute mu, the mean family size. Um, I find this easier to do in a table. I like personally like vertical tables, so I'll make mine into a vertical table, though you can do either way, it doesn't matter. So the first thing we need to do is list out our x values, which we have a 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Um, that category is 7 or more, but um, usually if we're 7 or more, we just round it off to 7, realizing that there's probably not too many families that are bigger than that. And then what we need to do is take each of our, prob our percentages and make them into probabilities, um, which just means writing them as decimals in this case. So 23% becomes 0 0.023 and so forth all the way down the line. All right, so then our next step in this is to find out how to go from here. So the formula for the mean and the discrete random variable is adding up each of the x values times their corresponding probability values. So again, instead of doing this outright in just trying to do it in a formula, I'd like to do it as a table. So I'm going to make a column of p times x, or x times p. So now I just take out my calculator, and I ask it what is 2 times 0.42, which of course is 0.84. Then I ask what 3 times 0.23 is, and of course it's 0.69. Um, 4 times 0.21 is of course 0.84. Um, 5 times 0.1 is 0.5. 6 times 0.3 is 0.18. And 7 times 0.01 is 0.07. Then if you look at the formula, you'll notice that this has a summation symbol, which means we then add those all up. So we're going to add them up, and that will be our mean. So we're going to take 0.84 plus 0.69 plus 0.84 plus 0.5 plus 0.18 plus 0.07, and we get 3.12. Um, there are basically units on this, and that is, um, in this case, people. So there's how you find the mean. Now let's go look at the next problem, which actually asks us to compute the variance, sigma squared, and sigma the standard deviation. Um, again, I find this easy to do in a table. I'm going to go ahead and give you the formula for the standard the variance so that you can see how it works. Um, just as before when we did variance, you take each of the x values, subtract off their mean, then you square it. But this time, you then multiply by each of the probabilities corresponding to those x values. Again, this is much easier in the table. So we'll look at the x values. And we had 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And then we'll look at the probabilities. And we had 0 0.42, 0 0.23, 0 0.21, um, 0 0.1, 0 0.03, and 0 0.01. So if you look at this formula, the innermost parentheses is what we do first. So we're going to take each of the x values and subtract off the mean. So we take x minus mu. Remember the mean we just found to be 3.12. 
So we're going to take each of these x values. We're going to take 2 minus 3.12, and we get negative 1.12. Then 3 minus 3.12 will give us negative 0.12. Then 4 minus 3.12 gives point zero, I'm sorry, 0 0.88. Um, then we do 5 minus 3.12, and we get 1.88. And then 6 minus 3.12 gives us 2.88. And then 7 minus 3.12 gives us 3.88. Then the formula says to square all of these. So we will now square all of these values. So we'll take um, negative 1.22 and we'll square it. Don't forget when you square a number, it becomes positive. So personally, I just leave the negative signs off when I square them. And then 0.12 squared is 0 0.0144. And then 0.88 squared is 0 0.7744. And then 1.88 squared is 3.5344. And 2.88 squared is 8.2944 and 3.88 squared is 15.0544. We then, looking at the formula again, we'll take each of those numbers and multiply by their probabilities. So 1.2544 times 0.42 is 0. 0.526848. You do want to keep as many decimal places as you can to reduce rounding error. 0 0.23 times 0 0.0144 is 0 0.003312. times 0 0.21 is 0 0.162624. Three point five three four four times point one is zero point three five three four four. Eight point two nine four four times point zero three is zero point two four eight eight three two. And then fifteen point zero five four four times point zero one is point one five zero five four four. Then all you have to do is add these up. Shh. Add these up and then you will have the variance. So we'll go ahead and add these numbers together. Um, so I'll take the first number, add it to the next number add it to the next number, add that to the next number, just keep adding down the below until you get to the final answer. And that gets you to 1.4456, and that is the variance. Now to get the standard deviation, you just take the square root of that. So the square root is just, a, is, sorry, the standard deviation is just the square root of the variance. And so when you take the square root of that number, you end up with 1.20. And again, this would be people. Um, in reality, both the mean and the standard deviation and the variance are much easier to find using technology, but this is how you would use the formulas.